Hey friends, thanks for being here. Let's talk about AMC. Now, AMC has had a wicked week, but if you're down the dumps and you think AMC is going downhill from here on out, I would not be so sure about that. I'd be very careful because we're seeing AMC pull up some big numbers here again. Now, this whole week with AMC, we've seen pretty much a dramatic drop here coming in back to when the market opened back up on the 6. AMC opened up right under that $54 range and from that day it pretty much plummeted and then on the 7th we had that $44 mark and then things just kept getting worse but things kept getting worse in the overall market and then we were hearing things about the European market were struggling as well so we had all this going on and that was just affecting everyone's market. Now we still kept a lot of volume this week especially when AMC hit that $40 range we saw a volume there of $440 million. then that shot the stock right back up to a $50 range. A lot of buy-in right there. There. And now we're sitting around this $46 bid price. So honestly, I still think we are in amazing shape with AMC right now. Now, if you didn't hear, a lot of this stock is still going on about Adam Aaron, the CEO of AMC with the groups of people who are mad and the groups of people who just don't care. But the news is Adam shut down the request to add 25 million more shares to AMC, which would have been very interesting none to say the least now friends one thing we know about july that is going to be happening here once we get out of this little bit of funk right here that we're dealing with right now with the stock market is when amc starts to kick back in here and this week could definitely see a kickback with amc we know we're going to be seeing new margin calls being hit we know we're going to see new puts hitting calls and calls hitting puts vice versa right there and we know more investors common investors have more money to spend and guess where they're going to put it they're probably going to put it in amc especially with AMC surviving this week and pretty much holding its ground. The main thing that people need to know and think of right here is that holding AMC could take maybe even a whole year. Imagine if we could hold this thing for even a whole year because when you buy calls and you buy puts, and especially we're talking about puts here, we know that these hedge funds have bought big puts against AMC and that's what we are relying on here as the ape community. Now we know that they have bought puts way into the future on AMC betting against it. This could very well will take a lot more time for something to really pop here when you're talking about this five hundred thousand dollar you know we could really be sitting here for some time at really trying to do some damage to amc and these hedge funds this could take some time and what the hedge funds are relying on they are relying on people to sell out get impatient get scared and leave the trend as so many people call it paper hands but i know there's a lot of people here that have diamond hands and they are holding this thing to the end whether it goes to five dollars or it goes to five hundred thousand dollars people are going to stay here there's just those certain people that are not going to give in and that's what's going to drive amc to a crazy number but for amc alone amc is going to be having a lot more news come out here it's had a really good week in the box office with the new fast and furious and then even this week AMC is renting out its theaters to people who are willing to go in there and watch Conor McGregor and Dustin Poirier fight. Now friends, let's get on the same page about something because I see a lot of people going like, why has this not happened yet? How long is this going to take? Listen, we could be here for quite some time. We could be here for at least a year or so before this to happen because think about this. When you buy contracts, when you buy put contracts, you buy it call contracts when you buy option contracts in general you can buy them out for a long ways and the longer you buy them out generally the more money you're going to make off that contract so obviously a lot of these hedge funds they have bought contracts way into the future so every month will bring new light to new tunnels that's what we know so july is going to bring some new light to what is going on every week every time we go into something new here we're going to see new highs we're going to see new volumes we're going to see new calls meet puts and puts meet calls now january 2023 these are going to be definitely some really dangerous calls or puts to buy and obviously you can buy them in the money right now or you can bet against amc yourself but obviously i'm betting that amc is going to go into triple digits here but the interesting thing about AMC right now too that we've seen with this week, it was one of the roughest weeks that AMC has had probably in the last few months. Last Monday to now has recovered quite a bit and almost hit its original spot. Now as of right now, give or take, because you'll never find the 
actual data on this, but there are 501.78 million shares outstanding right now. And the short interest is 85.8 million as of 6-15-2021. So kind of some interesting information right there if you like getting technical into the actual stock itself. So friends, understand this could take so much longer to actually happen. Imagine if we were able to hold AMC for over a year. Imagine if we were to hold GameStop for over a year. What this could actually look like and what this could actually do and what contracts could actually be tampered with going into the future contracts that were not supposed to fall are going to fall and be hit and squeezed and that's what we're waiting for right here those are my thoughts on amc i'm extremely happy with where it's at i'm extremely happy to be in it if it goes to five dollars i'll still be happy in it because i know something is coming here and listen not everything can just be a good golden green day you're gonna have some rough waters that's what keeps things moving here and that's what keeps things alive and that's what keeps people buying back in because you know what monday's gonna open open back up and people are going to be buying back in they're going to be buying themselves out of this a little bit and they're going to be trying to get more shares and get a lower price on amc so friends with all that said remember be positive be you and i will talk to you very soon bye everyone yeah.